in, in the switching platforms, in the data center switching platforms, and the other is actually bringing unified computing, which integrates compute storage or virtualization in a different way. So unified fabric, for example, with the Nexus, we currently have about 10,000 customers already using uh, unified fabric. And the Nexus switch family of switches have over 7 million ports in production. So Juniper just announced Q Fabric, and they're in testing with their first customer after spending three plus years trying to develop this. And we've already got a huge fit footprint and we understand what is necessary in the data so to deploy a fabric switching. And by the way, it's not just Cisco saying that. Industry analysts like Forrester recognizes us as a key vendor that recognizes the transformation and understands the transformation in the data center and how it's going to evolve. And Gartner recently published a survey. They surveyed their customers and said 46% of the customers choose Cisco as the most competent vendor to deploy Fabric. And the second closest competitor is HP at 25%. So just think of the leadership that we have in the data center with Fabric. And UCS, by the way, John, I think you mentioned this yesterday, we grew 700% year over year with unified computing um, architecture. So that's the data center, and obviously on top there's virtualization, there's different kind of managements that we would have to build on top of that. And we're working on that with partners as we, as we speak. So the data center architecture, similar to how we focus on borderless network, we are really trying to address customer issues, how we can deliver agility, how we can give them more flexibility from the data center, because actually there's a ripple effect. Every dollar that's invested in the data center has an influence on how applications get deployed, how applications get consumed. So the data center architecture really touches many different parts of an organization. And I'll talk about how that actually influences the service provider as well. So an example of creating impact in the data center space, and this is a fun one. So one of our customers, Hoover Valley Health Systems, PVHS, was actually looking for a way to address, this, address the challenges they have in energy management, footprint production, space reduction, at the same time scaling the requirements that they had to do. So they chose Cisco Gold Certified Partner, MSN Communications, and MSN worked with uh, PVHS to bring together Cisco UCS with VMware's VDI and EMC storage. And they brought on top of that uh, a virtual desktop infrastructure and were able to deploy 800 virtual desktops so the customer can now scale. And in the spring time frame, they're actually moving to having UC, Unified Communications, on top.